63 passengers on an American Airlines flight got a wild ride this morning. The flight, which left from Albuquerque, was heading to Chicago when a passenger started acting out. At one point, he tried to get off the plane in mid-flight. News 13's Cole Miller is live in the Newsplex with more. Cole? Jessica, one of the passengers, a reserve deputy with the Valencia County Sheriff's Office, stepped in to help the crew take care of the unruly man. Safely on the ground in Chicago, these passengers are breathing a sigh of relief. Many feeling they averted a disaster after a scary flight from Albuquerque this morning with one man who wouldn't follow the rules. The stewardess came over and told him, you need to be quiet. You need to, again, you need to be quiet. I've alerted the pilot as to your behavior. And she said, so if we need to land this plane, we will. American Airlines Flight 3172 left the Albuquerque Sunport at about 8 a.m. It was supposed to be a nonstop flight to Chicago O'Hare, but when one passenger began acting up, things changed, causing a diversion to Kansas City at around 11:30. He was just being very loud. Uh, he was throwing up, and he was trying to smoke a cigarette with a lighter. He was just. We just didn't know what was going on. Karen Fuller was sitting in the row in front of the man with her mother-in-law. Yes, it was very scary. The 63 passengers and four crew members were on board a plane like this one, a Bombardier CRJ-700. At one point, passengers say the man tried to reach for an exit. That's when Kevin Mugen, a reserve deputy with the Valencia County Sheriff's Office, stood up. Hey, we weren't going to let the attendants just handle it by themselves. And when we stayed out of it until he started to get, he looked like he was become more physical. We talked about it and we said we'd just take the guy down. And that's what we had to do. And Eventually, the man took his seat. Cell phone video caught part of the activity as federal agents took him into custody in Kansas City. We were just grateful when he was escorted off the plane. Everyone clapped. The plane finally landed in Chicago just before 2 p.m. and thankfully no one was hurt. Back to you. Okay, Cole, a spokesperson with the Kansas City International Airport says the man was interviewed by FBI agents after being removed from the plane. He was later released. Authorities have not released his name.